scheme, and it is now time to move on to the next item of business, which is consideration of Parliamentary Bureau Motion 1163 on approval of an SSI. And I ask George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, to move the motion. Thank you, President Officer. I am quite happy to speak on it, if you wish. OK, then. Uh, I have 15 SSIs. Only joking, there is only one. Uh, the Health and Protection Coronavirus International Scotland Amendment No. 13, Regulations 2021 SSI 2021-237, came into force on 14 June, and its purpose was to extend the definitions for elite sport for Birmingham Commonwealth Games. Thank you. Yes, could, could you formally move the motion? And move, presiding officer. Thank you, Minister. The question on this motion will be put at decision time. And there are five questions to be put as a result of today's business. And may I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Douglas Ross is agreed, then the other amendments will fall. So the first question is that amendment 1123.2 in the name of Douglas Ross, which seeks to amend motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney on COVID vaccine certification scheme, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and there will be a short suspension to allow members to access the digital voting system.
Thank you. I remind members that if the amendment in the name of Douglas Ross is agreed, then the other amendments will fall. The question is that Amendment 1123.2 in the name of Douglas Ross, which seeks to amend Motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney on COVID vaccine certification scheme, be agreed. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Alex Cole Hamilton. Sorry, presiding officer, my internet crashed and I would have voted yes. Thank you, Mr. Cole Hamilton. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 1123.2 in the name of Douglas Ross is yes 55, no 68. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 1123.3 in the name of Jackie Bailey, which seeks to amend motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney on COVID vaccine certification scheme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed.
The result of the vote on amendment number 1123.3 in the name of Jackie Bailey is yes 55, no 68. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 1123.1 in the name of Alex Cole Hamilton, which seeks to amend motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney on COVID vaccine certification scheme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Since Alex Cole Hamilton uh, has, has infected this little area and I have no internet connection either, so I, I, I would have voted no. Thank you, Ms Chapman. The vote will be recorded. Point of order, Richard Leonard. Yes, uh, point of <laughs> Point of order, presiding officer. Um, uh, I too was disconnected, and uh, if I had been able to vote, I would have voted to abstain. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. We'll ensure that is recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 1123.1 in the name of Alex Cole Hamilton is yes 33, no 68. There were 22 abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney on COVID vaccine certification scheme be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed.
The result of the vote on motion 1123 in the name of John Swinney is yes, 68, no, 55. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The final question is that motion 1163 in the name of George Adam on approval of an SSI be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. That concludes decision time and I close this meeting. Thank you.